Everybody, it's Lori. Welcome back for another video at Pizzazz Studios here on YouTube. Today I'm painting this fun piece here that I really, really love. Oh my God, it came out so cute. And um, it's really pretty. It's great for spring. It reminds me of spring. It reminds me of, you know, Easter time, which is uh, coming up here shortly. But by the time you see this video, I think Easter has already passed. It'll probably be closer to April or the end of April by the time you see this. Um, but this is a six by six cradled wood panel and I'm using a uh, very bright green. It's a custom green I made by combining some uh, fluorescent paints and some other acrylic paint. And I'm painting over the gesso that I put down already on this panel. So I have sped up areas of this video to save um, time for you so that it won't be such a lengthy video. If you're interested in more details of anything I've done in this video, please do leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer that for you. Okay, that yellow I just put down is actually a neon yellow by Artist's Loft. Artist's Loft is a brand of paint that you can find at the Michaels craft stores here in the United States. So I showed you a uh, photo there real quick of the yellow that I'm using here. And I do find um, that it helps to have a layer of white or at least some gesso or something underneath the neon colors. It helps them pop even more. So if you feel that they're kind of dull on you, maybe try doing that. It does help because they are translucent um, paints usually, the fluorescents or the neons. Another reason you want to use gesso when you paint on wood is so that the wood does not absorb all your paint. It's nice to have a nice sealer or protective barrier between the paint and the wood. And here I'm just using my blow dryer here just to speed up the drying process a little bit so I can move on to the next step for you. Right, now in this step here, I'm using a large flower that I created. Um, it's a collage piece I created out of some tissue paper that I had and a flower stencil and some acrylic paint. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to use it and if I want to use it. Is it too large? Do I like it? Does the pink go well with this bright green and yellow? How about this one? Now I'm trying another one. <laughs> this one has like a sort of a circular pattern of hearts which is cool, but I decided this dark green was much too dark and I was loving the pink. So we ended up going with that flower. Now in this part here, I think I decided I grabbed my neon blue and I wanted to add some blue here, but I wasn't liking the way it looked, but I left it in. I want to show you um, things that I do that I don't like as well. Uh, maybe you like the look of this, I don't know, but I didn't, so I decided to brighten it up again afterwards. I felt like it, I don't know, it darkened it too much. I was going for a nice, bright, cheery, colorful piece, and um, I didn't like the way this, uh, this blue looked. So I did go over it, I believe, here in just a moment. You can leave me a note in the comment. Let me know if you like it, if you like this blue over this green. Do you think it's too dark? Do you think I should have left it? I don't know. Let me know. To me at the time, I didn't like it. <laughs> so, yep, there we go. I'm adding more neon yellow on top here to brighten it up again. And here I am again, just adding some more heat to the piece to dry this top layer of paint real quick, just so I can move on to the next step. And here I am, I grabbed a couple of my oil pastels in pink and purple, and I'm just gonna add some accenting and some um, more color to this piece here using these pastels. And on 
my wood panels, I like to make sure that the sides are painted as well. And um, that's why I'm continuing the painting over the edges here. And I love the edges when they have color on them like this. It depends on the piece, but on this one, I really wanted it, so I added that as well. And now I have my tissue flower back in my hand here. I'm trying to just make a final decision on where I'd like to see it. I think I've already figured that out, but I'm trying a couple different places here. So I could use this just as it is, but I decided just to make my life a little bit easier that I would just cut it down to size a bit using my scissors. And this is just normal tissue paper that you would use for like gift wrapping or for gift bags. Okay, so now I have it cut to the size I want and I am all set and know where I want to position it. So now I'm using Liquitex Matte Medium to put it in place here. This matte medium is great because it dries clear and it goes on. I mean, it's kind of white when it comes out, but it dries completely clear. So basically you're taking some and laying it down on your surface where you want to adhere your collage piece and then brush more over the top of it. And with tissue, why I love tissue paper so much is because the tissue paper literally disappears and you don't really see it. Um, sometimes you can see a little bit of the white, but it adds a really cool effect to the piece usually. And this, like I said, this dries clear, so you don't see this at all. So I have the matte medium all applied and I'm just adding a little bit of heat here from my blow dryer just to dry this a little bit. And then you want it to be all dry before you move on to the next step. That's important to do. All right, so it's dried and, and I'm going to show you a nice close up here. This is a nice angle to get a good close up for you. In the middle here of the flower, you can see a little bit of the whiteness to the tissue. But for the most part, you can see a lot of the color, the paint underneath coming through. So it looks more transparent. It's really cool. I love that. Love, love, love this. This is coming out so nicely. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you're enjoying my video. Please do subscribe, hit that like button, and do share the video if you know anybody that would benefit from it as well. I'd much appreciate that. And now I'm just adding some more neon yellow. Just uh, now that everything's pretty much dry here, just to add a little bit more brightness to that area. Looks like I'm adding a little bit more yellow here on top of these pink petals. Pink and yellow together do make a pretty orange, so I'm adding a little bit of yellow just so it's orangey in some areas.
And sometimes with my mixed media projects and collaging, I like to add a sentiment to my piece. So uh, this one here I thought was fitting and it says grow where you are planted. So I'm going to apply that on here and adhere it to my piece with the same matte medium that I used to adhere the tissue paper. So basically I'm going to cut out all these words from my paper here and I'm going to speed this part of the video up for you. And I'm just trying to get them to the right size that I want. Okay, so my sentiment is all cut out and I'm ready to go. I'm getting my matte medium here and I'm applying it down on the piece and I'm just going to, um, like I said, same as the tissue paper, apply a little bit down here, put down my paper, put a little bit over the top of it, let it completely dry and that's about it. All right, so that is it. And now I'm just applying a little bit of heat there to that just to speed up the drying process a little bit. And I have these little extra petals cut out from the flower, the tissue paper that I had, and they were off to the side. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to put them down here or not, but I turned out that I decided not to. But um, what do you think? Maybe I should have added them? Do you think I should leave them off? Do you like it the way it is? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have any questions, leave those down below in the comments section for me as well. Please do remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. And now as a last step, I'm just taking a pen here and just outlining the um, outer edge of the paper here just to give it a little bit of a distressed kind of finished look here. It looks pretty. I like this little added touch. So I'm adding that to the piece and then I believe I am finished. All right, so I am done here. I'm gonna give you a nice close up here of the finished piece. Thanks again for joining me. Um, I like to add positive affirmations to my artwork and uh, this one here I think is exceptionally cute. I just love the colors and the way it all pulled together. It's a simple piece. I hope you try something like it. Leave any questions you have down in the comments section. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again real soon on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.